morning ladies and gentlemen you welcome to the prophetic born and altar this morning i am love banks omada if you join in for the first time please click on the subscribe button okay when you do that you are helping me grow and god bless you in the mighty name of jesus let's talk about mercy this morning let's read from book of lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 23 it said the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning and great is your faithfulness okay let's also read from the book of uh, proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 it says no one who conceals transgression will prosper but one who confesses and forsake them will obtain mercy so lord is merciful our God is merciful. In this world today, we discover that uh, sometimes we're trying to conquer the enemies just like the saints did. We're just trying to get out of our comfort zone to make sure we live a whole life. But we still keep falling back into this mercy. What you need to do is ask a lot for mercy at all times. We have saints who went through some pains who went through because the past through the earth that we were living in. And what, guess what? Not only did God forgive them, they are sitting with God in heaven. They are in heaven right now. Their life is used as a memorial this day to us. You want to know some of the saints? How about Abraham? Abraham lied and Sarah laughed at God's promise to bear a son. They never believed that. They laughed at God. Isaac was named laughter because Sarah laughed. Moses was a mother, remember? He killed one of them who were after the Israelites. He killed them. How about Hosea's wife? She was a prostitute. Jacob was a liar and a cheat. He deceived his father. He deceived his brother. He stole from his brother. David had an affair, set up the uh, husband of the person he had an affair to die. But he was a man after God's heart because he did his work. He obtained mercy. Peter lied. He denied Jesus three times. He did that. Paul murdered Christians. He was a Boko Haram. He was Shekel. He was like the ISIS. He was like Hamas, the leader of Hamas. He was like Osama bin Laden. But the Lord forgave him. He wrote, he wrote to all Christians all around the world before he died. Jonah did what? Jonah defied God. Miriam was a gossip. Cha -cha 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 -cha. She talks. She gossip about God's anointed. Jeremiah and Elijah let depression and suicidal thoughts set in. They were depressed. This were prophet. Jeremiah and Elijah, they were depressed. Martha was always worried. She was always worrying. How about Noah? Noah was drunk. He was drunk. Moses had hot temper. Peter had hot temper. Andrew had hot temper. Paul had hot temper. But you know what? They fulfilled destiny. Because they asked for the mercy and grace of the Lord. We can't do this alone. All we need to do is do what? Ask for the blood of Jesus to wash us. To wash us clean. We need to ask for the blood of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord to cleanse us. Remember what the book Bible says in the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 2, 22. He said, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies shall never come to an end. They are new every morning. All this means is every morning you have a blank check to ask God for mercy. I ask for mercy many times a day. I speak in tongue and I know that 80% of my tongue is, Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, help me in ministry. Help me in life. Oh Lord, help me to be better. Oh Lord, help me to make heaven. That's what I say when I say, Li grode, grebegeshkepelete, li do zigrabagashkapagayata. So brothers never give up. Sisters never give up. Always ask for mercy. You will obtain it big. You're trying to run away from fornication. You see yourself falling into it. Ask a lot for mercy. Get yourself a mentor. Tell yourself, tell your pastor, please pray for me. I do not want this to happen to me anymore. You fall into adultery, masturbation. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, break me from the bad habits. How about stealing? How about anger? How about insult? How about accusation? How about a lying tongue? As the Lord to forgive you. As the Lord to have mercy upon you. How about mockery? You mock people. When people doesn't do nothing to you, just mock them. As the Lord to have mercy upon you. And the Lord is going to help you in 
dream that might the name of Jesus. You will fulfill destiny if you Emmanuel is always broken and you ask the Lord, oh Lord, have mercy upon me. If you fear the Lord, you will always fulfill destiny. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, I am Bank Somali and if you join in for the first time, please click on the subscribe button. When you do that, you are helping me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom.